All right, all right, we are back talking again about the 3080Ti firmware update. So I uh, saw this article just came out uh, this morning, Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. All right, there you go. Now you can see it. NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti GPUs may be even harder to buy after firmware fix helps miners. So I thought that was funny because when I started mining, I just, for ignorance reasons, went after the 3080 Ti, and they were all LHRs, and I got six of them. A lot of money spent, right? I figured no guts, no glory. Uh, three are the uh, Royal Republic of Gaming Strix monster 3080 Ti's with uh, three power inputs, plus you need the power of the PCI riser. Those are beast. Uh, and they burn some, they burn some watts, man. They are watt eaters. But, um, and I got three other ones. I think I got gigabytes and EVGA and they run clean and they all run about the same hash about get this. They all run high 80. So let me look right now. I think I'm about 88, 89, uh, running hash right now using T-Rex Miner. If we can get that up, there we go. I'm going between screens here. I am on T-Rex Miner 0.24.7, and we are pushing uh, 88, 88s across the average, yeah, it's up and down, it's up and down, plus or minus 2, uh, power consumption's uh, hovering about 290 watts, yeah, 290 watts, and the uh, LHR rate that the uh, T-Rex Miner has decided to use is 72.5. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what are we doing here? I have been up and running for six days, 12 hours and 33 minutes. Look at that. So there you go. There's my stats. And running, like I said, running T-Rex Miner, core clock setting to keep those puppies in line. And when I did that, they uh, consumed a little less wattage. And the, and they, they they blessed me and gave me some more, uh, me uh, some more, <laughs> some more mega hash. Yeah, yes, they did. All right, let's get going. So the reason I say that is I bought six of these puppies, right? And I felt bad. It's like, oh, my God, I spent all this money on these cars that are um, restricted with this LHR thing. What did I do? What do I do? I sell them on eBay and lose money. I don't know. I had these ROG Strix things, and those things are huge, 3080 TIs. They're beasts. They are. I don't know how people put them in PC cases. Yeah. So anyway, I kept them. I hooked them up, and they became my full purebred, purebred like a pure blood, 3080 Ti rig machine, baby. Now uh, it's out there running like I just showed you. So I'm glad I kept them, and the reason I'm glad I kept them is when I see articles like this with this firmware update. Yeah, so I'm pleased, but I am already getting high 80s with T-Rex Miner and my overclock settings. So I'm confused about why this, I'm really lost a little bit. Maybe someone can explain it to me. They're saying that um, the uh, EVGA pushed out the new firmware for its 3080 Ti XC3 graphics card, an update that can potentially be applied to other 3080 Ti models from different card makers, albeit riskily. Yes, very risky when you start frying the BIOS with new firmware. Uh, this resolves the performance issue, but in doing so, also gives Kerbo, uh, Kerbo, Kerbo. Also gives crypto miners a boost. Um, if I was a manufacturer, I would see that crypto miners are incredible customers. And they're buying more of them. They are making these companies rich, man. I'd kiss these miners' butts. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. Anyway, uh, let's see. As you may be aware, the RTX 38 Ti comes with the light hash rate LHR countermeasure. I like how they say countermeasures to hamper mining performance. Is that why they did it? And make the GPUs less suitable for miners. But the EVGA update is a way to boost speeds, therefore making the cards more attractive to a mining audience. This was highlighted by this Reddit user who applied the firmware update and claims that they went from an Ethereum hash rate of around 66 mega hash to about 80 mega hash, a pretty chunky mining performance boost. Yeah, 
Now, I'm this statement here, I am really confused. I need more backstory on this. I can't even highlight this text. I need more backstory on this. Why are you only getting 66 mega hash? Why are you only getting 66 mega hash mining Ethereum on these 3080 Ti's? Did you not even do any research on how to overclock these things? Did you try any settings at all? Even Hive OS would give you 80s. You know what I mean? I'm so kind of confused by this article. I mean, have people just been putting these expensive cards mining and just getting 66? I freaked out when I got high 88, you know, high 89, I got some 90s. I was like, wow, this is awesome. And I just said, and I read this article and said, 66? What the heck is that about? Somebody needs to explain that. Why are people getting 66? And aren't they using their brain and Googling like how to get better hash rates on these 3080 Ti's? Yeah, I don't know. Just, I just think even plug it into T-Rex Minor and letting it rip, you're going to get better than 66. So anyway, so I'm confused. I am, I am so confused by that. These cards are going to become more popular. And you can't get cards anyway right now, right? Because NVIDIA is kind of limiting the supply and then they're doing back-end deals to influencers. So if you ain't in the club, which you most likely aren't, you're not going to get your cards. Or you're going to pay more than MSRP. So it's a big club and you ain't in it. I've been mulling over buying one of these RTX 3080 Ti's. Their price is attractive. But I was hesitant due to the LHR limit. It's really encouraging seeing new unlocks coming out for these cards. Okay. I don't know. I think he's one of these... Uh, this comment right away, knowing crypto mining, this poster, it sounds like he's paralyzed by overanalysis. Dude, you cannot hesitate. If you want a card, you see a card you'd like to price, you better buy that card. It's going to be gone in three seconds. You know what I mean? So I, I kind of kind of call BS on that statement. And I, I'm still calling BS on this 66 to 80. Why are you getting 66? I'm an idiot. I just started mining. And uh, I don't know. I'm getting, like I said, 89 with TRX Miner with some basic overclock setting. All right, the other twist to this little GPU tale is that while EVGA owners can apply the fix to cure this issue via a firmware update using the EVGA X1 precision software, it is uh, the theoretically possible to flash the EVGA XC3 BIOS to another manufacturer's 3080 Ti. Okay, 91, something that gets my attention. Good for you, man. Is that a stable 91? I mean, I didn't watch this video. He does a lot of stuff. He has like a billion, he has like a billion GPUs. It's kind of amazing to see all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty interesting. A lot of Canadians are into mining. It's almost like their heritage, you know, up in the Yukon. And I'm happy with the high 80s. I'm not going to muck with any flashing of these cars. They cost too much money to mess mess up and brick. I, I would just be 2,000 bucks done. Oh, um, uh, yeah, that said, messing with the BIOS like this in a 30 Ti from another manufacturer is pretty dangerous territory and anyone who isn't seriously clued up on what they're doing is probably more likely to end up with a brick gpu than a more performant card all i know is i see how the market is this is not financial advice but i went ahead i nvidia has been coming down from all-time highs the stock i bought more yeah i just bought in i bought some stock i'm probably negative right now but that's the way it goes whenever i buy it goes down 30 percent that's just my uh, investment strategy my goal is to lose all my money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, NVIDIA, I don't know. They're, they're a player right now. So look at their stock history. It's kind of corrected quite a bit, so I did buy. Uh, it, yeah. Oh, let's see. Well, that's all I got. I mean, I saw this article again. We already talked about it. You got the old red panda mining out there. Go check out his video. He did this test. I did not watch it. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I am not going to mess with my 3080 Ti's. I am a happy place. Happy place, you know. And I am not going to mess with these cards or flash them because, like I said, it's been up uh, six days, 12 hours. I'm in the high 80s right now. And I'm not flashing any BIOS. I mean, I'll do my GE Force NVIDIA driver updates. But uh, I like, uh, if it ain't broken, don't, don't fix it. Because you'll sit there, you'll try to do this. Oh, I'm going to kill an hour and flash the BIOS on a GPU. You go in and do it. And it's like, oh, I just have a $1,500 brick paperweight. Hmm. <laughs> your total day is going to be ruined if you can get a gpu just get it my my advice is you know check out some retail bots check out some monitoring stuff i talk about on how to uh, get alerts on in stock gpus because you just don't want to buy any in stock because if they're from third party they'll be jacked up 
Uh, you want to make sure you get like an Amazon official offer price, which is close to MSRP. And Newegg sometimes has close to MSRP. Best Buy, I don't know about Best Buy. I say if you like a card, make your top four picks. Monitor what's out there and grab it. If you start thinking about like this guy, oh, with the uh, LHR firmware unlocks, and I was thinking about buying it. Dude, you're already way behind the curve. Five million other people just bought that card while you were just like, you know, inhaling. <laughs> anyway, that's the way I see it. I mean, just having been new to this for three months, you you hesitate, you're going to be last, man. If you ain't first, you're last.